In today's world, you can find a website or forum for basically any subject imaginable. You can be a part of a community with people of similar interests, no matter if it's cars, fitness, or ending your life. In Japan, chilling internet suicide packs are alarmingly popular. People go to these suicide websites to look for others to die with them, or in the case of Hiroshi Maue, look for easy prey. Hiroshi Maue was born on August 8th, 1968 in Osaka Prefecture, Japan. He was barely 20 years old when he attempted to strangle a male friend while attending the Kenzawa Institute of Technology. Soon after, Hiroshi dropped out and remained under the radar until 1995, when he was arrested for beating a co-worker and trying to asphyxiate him. Fortunately, the victim again survived and Hiroshi was fired from his job after the case was settled in court. Six years later, in 2001, Hiroshi was arrested once again for the attempted strangling of two women. This time, he was sentenced to a year in prison, with a three-year suspended sentence. However, due to his good behavior, Hiroshi got out early, and as you can guess, he immediately continued on the same path. In 2002, Hiroshi met a junior high school boy who he tried to strangle without success and was arrested and sentenced to 22 months in prison. Someone should have probably been able to see what would happen if Hiroshi was let go again. Red flags were all over the place and yet he was released in 2005 and this time Hiroshi decided to change his tactic. He realized that if he actually killed his victims, they were not able to go to the police. And even better, what if he found people who were willing to die? Thinking he had finally figured out a perfect plan, Hiroshi began to visit the so-called suicide websites. People from these websites formed suicide packs and often committed suicide together inside of a car by carbon dioxide poisoning from the antique charcoal burners. And this is what Hiroshi used as a lawyer. He promised these vulnerable people that they would die together painlessly. But in reality, it would only be the other person who lost their lives and definitely not without suffering. Altogether, Hiroshi lured three victims to him in 2005 within a span of four months. A 14 year old boy 25 year old woman and a 21 year old man. Hiroshi had a brief conversation with all of them before strangling them to death for sexual pleasure. Apparently, it was the only way to get him off, according to Hiroshi. He wanted to see a face in agony. Hiroshi even filmed all the murders to rewatch them later. He buried all of his victims in the mountains of the Kawashi Nagano, Osaka Prefecture. But even though Hiroshi had thought he had come up with the perfect plan, it did not take long for the police to find out what he was doing, including dozens of emails asking the victims to commit suicide together with him. So when a person went missing and the investigators checked their internet activity, Hiroshi Maui's name would be the first one on the list. He was soon arrested on August 5th, 2005. During his trial, the prosecutors called Hiroshi a lust murderer. It became evident that he suffered from a paraphilic psychosexual disorder. Hiroshi pleaded guilty to the three murders and on March 28, 2007, the Osaka District Court sentenced him to death. Hiroshi Maui was hanged for his crimes on July 28, 2009.